Hello everyone and welcome to this round of Ed Talks and I have with me today uh, Truman Lysram from Brock University. So Truman, tell us something about uh, why Brock University is so popular among students. Mom, thank you for having me. I mean, this is, uh, I think uh, it's an honor for me to share, the, you know, this small little space with you. But uh, to talk why Brock stands out for us is, Brock, we ranked number one in Canada for our mental health services to the students okay and mm. uh, this is where I think a lot of students particularly for an international student what happens is you move to a new country new place mental health is something that you know uh, a lot of students struggle with but they may not uh, you know talk about it that's where I think uh, at Rock we, we, we pay, pay individual attention to all the students we're also ranked uh, in the, on, on similar lines uh, uh, number one in Ontario for student satisfaction. These two factors is one thing apart from the, the fact that we have a 96% employability rate. I think these three, four factors are very important for, for a student when we uh, look from the, uh, from an overall scenario, I would say. Yeah, probably these factors. Yeah, it's amazing yeah, because yeah. not many uh, institutions put so much of focus and being ranked number yes. one for mental health services as well as employability student, yeah. and student yeah. uh, satisfaction, satisfaction yeah. is great. Yeah. So, I mean, carrying the question forward, uh, how do you make it the uh, the highest on employability? How do university degree programs? How how are they? How do they make the students more employable? Again, I think that's again a very uh, you know very interesting question in the sense at Brock we offer over seventy programs at the undergraduate level, and out of those seventy plus programs, forty plus programs have co-op, which means there's a different year of uh, internship or work as a part of the program. And 100% of the programs at Brock that we offer have co have components of experiential learning. So, irrespective of whether the program has a co-op or a non-co-op, you still get to experience in a real life sense whatever you learn in the classroom. And I think where we also stand out is uh, we have a dedicated career zone who is responsible for a student's grooming from right from the point of uh, you know your CV prepare you know CV to your for headshot for your LinkedIn profile to things like that. You know, we we pay that kind of individual attention. So I think this is where I think our programs have a, a very uh, holistic approach to programs. You'll not uh, see that the programs are, you know, you just go there, finish your classrooms and do your thing and go back. It doesn't happen like that for, at, at Rock. You know, our co-ops, for example, if you say typically students design their own co-op when they want to do it, but wow. uh, if if you look at it. We, our co-op starts from the second year onwards, second year four months, third year four months and, and last year four months. That's how they typically add a year of work in the field of their study. So by the time they finish their studies, they'll have a relevant one year work experience as a part of the program. So yeah. Yeah. And then also Canadian employer references. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It, right? Definitely. So 80% of our students would invariably end up in the companies where they go for their co-op. Right. So that's a, that's a very good uh, way of, uh, I would say, uh, connecting to your potential employer in the future, if, if not anything. Right. So I think it's pretty much yeah. labor market it is, uh, it is, aligned, it is, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> All yeah. right. So but, uh, it's located very close to the Niagara yes, right, region, right? And yeah. it's also UNESCO site. Yes. So tell us some more interesting facts about. Uh, I I would say uh, it's it's a beautiful place. I I, yes, I know that the, the younger generation are all into Snapchats and Instagrams, and I I'm an old guy. I'm not in on Snapchat and things like that. But if you're uh, looking at like a beautiful campus, I would say. We're one of the most beautiful campus. I mean, we are the only campus in Canada in an UNESCO World Biosphere Reserve. And at night, you would see, uh, you know, not that we're like in a very remote area. We're right in the heart of the city, but you'll still see like deers on the campus, which is something yes. that's very, very interesting. And like you rightly said, ma'am, we're in the city of the Niagara Falls. So there's a trail that we call it the Bruce Trail. You could, if you're into walking and jogging and all that, you could literally hike up to uh, Niagara Falls and also we're the largest uh, wine producing region in the whole of uh, know, yeah, yeah. in the whole of Canada. So yeah. there are a lot of uh, you know you could do uh, a vineyard tour and and things like that. And yes. we also do something called grape stomping on campus, uh, which oh, is uh, okay. which is a bit like uh, so the, the, the we bring the grapes on campus. Students play with it. They they, they crush the grapes, squeeze the juice out of it. It's a bit <laughs> we we I mean I I don't know if you can relate to it. When I was uh, uh, you know, in back and I, I was already a working man, but 
There was a movie that came out, "Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara," and yeah, had this yeah, uh, tomato, tomato thing. Yeah, right? so it was that's, that's in Spain, yeah, right? So, yeah. so I, I was like, okay, this is our version of uh, the yes. uh, the tomatino <laughs> yeah. fest, something like that. We do yeah. so. So yeah. it's a grapeatino. <laughs> yeah, it's a grapeatino exactly. Yeah, right, right. So that kind of thing happens, and yeah. we have a very very strong uh, student support system. Like I said, uh, we have a Brock University Students uh, Union, uh, and we we do all sort of events. And I, I, what I what I mean by events is. Oh, on a regular basis, you'd see there's a karaoke night happening every Tuesday on campus. Mm. Okay, so, and of course, we we celebrate all festivals. You you name it: Holi, Diwali, the Chinese New Year. You name it, we've got it all. So, yeah. so it's a great fun place yeah. to be is, studying in. Place, okay, yeah. so thanks so much, Roman. Thank you. It was really lovely listening to you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.